Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. Happy Friday. Let's get started with our good morning song. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. Let's fly to this side. Fly over to that side. Fly back to the middle. And now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch the circle up over your head and let's stretch to one side. Stretch over to the other side. One more time up at the top and bring the circle back down and let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started, we have to do three things quickly. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Number two, let's find our thinking hats. Let's see, oh, mine is right here in front of me. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has some buttons underneath my chin, so I'm just going to button them up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Do you remember which body system this is? Our circulatory system. Let's double check that we're all ready to start. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts or our circulatory systems are all warmed up. I have my pointing stick. And first, let's go over the date. The month is right here. Do you know what the month is? July. Today is July 9th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 8th. Today is July 9th. And the year is 2021 or 2021. Now it's time to take out our counting fingers and warm them up to give them a little stretch. Let's use our counting fingers to count how many days we've had so far in the month of July. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine! We have had nine days so far in the month of July. Will you sing the day of the week song with me? Hold up seven fingers like this for each one of the days of the week. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down, down, down to the bottom of the chart. I'm going to give you the sound that the day starts with, and if you know what the day is, you can say it out loud with me. Listen carefully. Yesterday was th Thursday. That means that today is th Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be s Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's sing Today is Friday together. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. And right up here at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now? Summer. It's summertime where I live. And now when we travel back down, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Look at this, friends. 
this picture has stayed the same all week. I have another mostly cloudy day where I live, but when I look outside of my window, I can see the sun poking through a little bit. My temperature chart is on orange because today it's warm outside. Warm and mostly cloudy with the sun poking through the clouds a little bit. What do you see outside of your window, friends? Take a peek and let me know. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this uppercase or capital letter. What sound does this letter make? This letter says s, s. Will you make that sound with me? S, s. And now it's time to guess what's inside of the letter box. But it's actually not inside of my box, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Here's your first clue. This is something that starts with the letter s, s. It's something that you do when you are happy, and you do it with a body part that's on your face. Hmm, can you think of what you do with your face when you're happy? You smile like this. Smile starts with the letter s, s. Can you show me how you smile? That's a beautiful smile. When you smile, it's actually controlled by the nervous system, which is one of the body systems. Smile starts with the letter s, s. This is how you write an uppercase s, s. One more time. And today will also be the last day going over this number. What number is this, friends? Six. That's right. Will you hold up six fingers for me? Let me put my chalkboard down so that I could hold up six of my fingers. I'll start with five and I'll add one more to make six. Now let's count to the number six together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to count to the number six using the large bead frame. We are going to be counting the units, which are the green beads at the top. Let's count to the number six together. One, two, three, four, five, six six units. We have one more thing to count together and that's inside of my number box. I have these acorn tops and as I count them I'll line them up across the top of the box so that we can count them together. Are you ready? One. These two are connected. Two, three, four, five, Six, six acorn tops. This week, we learned how to say person in sign language. Will you show me how? Let's do that together. Person. I've saved the most complicated body system for last. Are you ready for your clue? This is the most complex organ in your body, and it's located inside of your skull. So where is your skull? It's right here. My skull is made up of the bones that are inside of my head. And what's inside of my head? My brain. The last body system that we'll be learning about is called the nervous system, which is made up of two parts called the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Our brains control everything that we do from how we walk and talk, to what we think about, and even how we feel. Throughout the day, your brain and body send messages back and forth through the spinal cord and the nerves. For example, 
if you touch something that is too hot, your brain receives a message of pain and then sends a message back to the muscles inside of your hand to pull away from the hot object. For today's work, we are going to strengthen our brains with a memory game. I'll show you how to play. For today's work, we are going to be doing a memory or matching game. So as you can see, I'm using these circular discs right here, which I actually have left over from when I made my calendar for circle time. And I made sets or pairs using a matching sticker. So I have a set of yellow circles, a set of purple triangles, a set of blue stars, a pair of orange hearts, and a pair of green squares. If you don't have these circular discs, you can also just do the same thing using pieces of paper, and you can put a matching sticker to make a pair or a set, or you can just draw your own image. Now, once I have my sets made, I'm going to flip them over to the other side. Now, memory games, or matching games are great for our brain development because it helps us focus and it also helps us pay attention to small details. So I'm just mixing up the discs right here because I don't want the sets or the matching pairs to be next to each other. I want this game to be a little bit challenging. So the first thing that I'm going to do once all of the discs are turned over is to flip one of them over. I have a yellow circle. Let's see if I can find its match. I want to find another yellow circle. Not this one. This is an orange heart. So I'm going to flip them over and try it again. A green square. Hmm. This one is a blue star. That's not a match. Let's try again. <gasps> a yellow circle. Hmm. Here is the other yellow circle. Here is a match right here. So once I have a match, I'll put it over and I'll continue on with the remaining ones. Let's try to find one more match together. A purple triangle. That's not a match. The blue star. I seem to remember that the blue star was somewhere around here. <gasps> here it is, another match. So friends, this game is great to play independently, but you can also play it with another person and take turns finding the matching sets. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. This week we learned about five of the 11 body systems. If you enjoyed this unit, you can learn about the six other body systems on your own. Remember to keep your body safe and healthy because it's the only one that you have. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. On Monday, we will begin a brand new unit on mindfulness. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back on Monday. Goodbye, everyone.